Good morning, it's day 12 now. We actually didn't do much yesterday after our landing. We just sailed right through to the Russian settlement where we are now. And after breakfast, we're gonna go explore the town. And this town is about 500 people. So it'll be really interesting to see how they live here in the Arctic, basically. And that is the plan. And I'll keep you posted about where we're off to after that. So definitely stay tuned and come along with me. Before we head up on our walk to the Russian settlement, we're going to have a tour of the engine room of the ship just to have a look how things work. That should be really interesting. So let's go! Into the engine room! How does it smell, Martha? It's very warm. <laughs> you need a gas mask. The engine itself makes a maximum of 1800 uh, tau uh, rounds in a minute and then I have the gears uh, who uh, reduced uh, for the propeller from 1 to 4.2 right. about so the, the propeller itself makes a maximum 400 rounds in a minute. Yeah, right. Wow. I do the same one over there yeah. and that is for the fresh water. Oh, okay. Yesterday morning uh, it was broken for a while oh, okay. so I repaired that one. Uh, <laughs> And the first uh, Russian mining settlement was actually here at Grumont, um, just up the coast. And that was from 1913 to 1961. Had about a thousand people there. It's completely closed now. And uh, because of the difficult uh, facilities here for loading, they had to build a railroad all the way down into Coles Bay. Um, <clears throat> but that's now completely discontinued. It's just a, a ruin. And the other one is up here is Pyramid, ah. which was closed. It's a ghost town as well, closed in 1998. Used to be as many as a thousand people here. Um, <clears throat> but to concentrate on Barentsburg, it's obviously uh, um, communism, built on the ideals of uh, solidarity and uh, collectivism. And <coughs> until the uh, perestroika, it was uh, very much a Cold War situation here, where the Norwegians and the Russians were watching each other all the time. So we're just walking through the town now, as you can see it's a little bit different than the back at home. It used to be a coal mining place down here and now it's built for tourism. And um, there used to be 2,000 people who used to live here and now it's about 300 to 500. Primarily used for coal mining, but it recently came out that it's now being used for tourism or being built to get some tourist business. And here's the hotel. Should we go inside the hotel? What you got there? Uh, the most beer from the northernmost brewery in the world, the Barents Beer Brewery. Barents Beer Brewery. Another taste, you already had a sip, but let's pretend this is the first sip. Mm. 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 Pretty good. Tastes like beer. Tastes like beer. Yeah. 
He's <laughs> following us everywhere, making sure we're not getting up to trouble. He's retracing your steps when you went up to the mural box. What's that? It's the museum. Come on, I'm going to take a... You're okay? No. Well, we're testing you, testing you, come on.